Welcome to Simulate. Simulate lets you build a simulation of your process, view KPI results, and test scenarios to help you suggest the right decisions to stakeholders first time and make a massive difference to your organization. Simulate is the product of choice for anyone who wants to build a simulation of their process in the quickest time possible. We have developed a tool that not only gets you to the results you need fast, but also with the flexibility required to model some of the most complex of process nuances with amazing accuracy. These traits combined are why over 70% of Fortune 500 companies use Simulate to save millions of dollars daily. At Simulate Corporation, we believe that building a simulation is only part of a process improvement journey. Your simulation tool is a vehicle for getting you there. Sure, that vehicle has to be easy to drive, but ultimately it needs to be quick. Less time driving, more time testing, and making the right decisions first time. Let's have a look at Simulate and see how you'd get started on that journey. Simulation is not always a familiar activity. That's why Simulate's user interface is designed to make you as at home as possible. It has a modern day software feel with easy to access controls via the ribbon and the object palette on the left hand side. Structuring your simulation is easy. Simply drag and drop objects from the palette onto the white space, starting with a start point. The start point is where work arrives into your system. So this could be raw materials arriving at a production line or patients walking into a hospital. From here, these items will typically wait in a queue also referred to as a line or a buffer, where they will sit as they wait to be worked on later in the process. Next, they'll move on to an activity which is where they will then be worked on. So that is a point in your process where an action takes place. This could be stamping a piece of sheet metal, answering a telephone call, or triaging a patient. Typically anything that has a time associated with it. Finally, work will leave the system via an endpoint and the throughput of the system can be calculated. And this is probably the most simple simulation you could create. You can run the simulation straight away and your process map comes to life with animation. You'll see the clock simulating time and dynamic numbers being displayed on the screen as the simulation runs. From here, you can start to add more paths and objects to build up a true process map of your system. Watch some of our other videos to see how you can then quickly start to add input data, resources such as staff or equipment, and other complexities around how the work flows through your system.